Cyclones! Woo! This week is going to be a busy one. There are three fall career fairs happening this week, so I hope you are ready. First is the Engineering Fair in Hilton Coliseum and the Sheeman Building on Tuesday, September 29th from 12 to 6 p.m. Second is the Technology Career Fair on Wednesday in Hilton Coliseum from 12 to 6. The fair is specified for majors in business, liberal arts and sciences, as well as human sciences. Finally is the People to People Career Fair in the Sheeman Building on Wednesday, September 30th from 1 to 5. People to People is focused on majors in social services, education, government, and health. There are many opportunities to speak with employers and learn about your career. When you get a break from preparing for career fair, check out some awesome activities that are happening this week. Let's get the inside scoop from Catherine. Catherine? Yes, Silas, come on, come all for fun and festivities this week. ISU After Dark will be held this Friday, October 2nd in the MU from 9 to 1 a.m. There will be events such as bowling, karaoke, crafts, a photo booth, and even a concert. There is no cost for all these activities. The main event of this After Dark is magician and comedian Justin Willman. Willman has been seen on The Tonight Show, Ellen, and Conan. He's also host for Cupcake Wars and King of Cones on the Food Network and can be seen on the Disney Channel show Lose or Draw. It'll be a magical experience. Other events this week in the MU include more art and activities. The walk-in craft for this week is henna tattoos in the workspace this Wednesday from 6 to 9 p.m. Also, open mic night is this Tuesday in the M Shop at 8 p.m. With so many things going on, it's going to be hard to choose. That's been your Inside Scoop. Back to you in the studio. <coughs> <laughs> Thanks, Catherine. There's a special event happening tonight. ISU alum and ex-International Student Council President Onali Arebandu is giving a talk titled 100 Voices, Leading for a Change. Arebandu is the social change entrepreneur for the United Nations Population Fund in her home country. She will be discussing a social change initiative aimed at mobilizing national youth to combat gender violence in Sri Lanka. Come down to the sunroom at 8 p.m. to learn more about her experiences. Excited to see you back, Onali! We are also excited this week because Cyclone Sports are really heating up. Cy, what's happening in sports this week? Hi Silas, this is Alec. I'm filling in for Cy again. He's got an audience with the Pope this week. The soccer team is kicking off against Baylor this Friday at 7 p.m. There's another football game this Saturday, October 3rd. We will be tackling Kansas at 11 a.m. in our very own Jack Trice Stadium. Tailgating at the ISU Alumni Center begins at 8 a.m. There will be a performance from the ISU Varsity Marching Band. Be the first down there and cheer on your Cyclones. That's it for sports. I'll pass it back to you, Silas. Touchdown! <laughs> we'll get them this weekend. Also, this weekend on Friday, Dinner in Des Moines is going to Spaghetti Works. Mmm. Make sure that you sign up by this Wednesday if you are interested in attending. Another reminder for cultural ambassadors to post your partner's selfies with the hashtag CAP for ISU to gain points for some awesome prizes at the end of the semester. Awesome. <laughs> well, that's all for this week, mostly because I have to go finish watching cat videos on YouTube. Thanks for watching. This has been your Cyclone Watch.